Hello, I'm Daria, co-founder of Salescreeneo, and today we're going to talk about how to start your business in the UAE and KSA. First of all, um, what are the key marketplaces here in the UAE and KSA? Uh, it's actually Amazon and Noon. Uh, you may think there are also different channels such as Sharap DJ uh, and uh, maybe Mama's World and uh, different specialized marketplaces. But to be honest, the only marketplaces uh, which are available now for sellers, uh, it's Noon and Amazon. Uh, another thing is that uh, there are marketplace which has quite a good sales called Snapshare. Uh, it was acquired by Noon, so we can like consider Snapshare as a Noon, and hopefully in very future, uh, very near future, uh, this marketplace is going to be also open for their sellers. Of course, the first question you need to ask yourself which marketplace to sell is like where the money is. Because uh, lots of people saying that uh, Amazon is the main player in the market, uh, although according to other data, it's actually almost equal sales uh, per month uh, during their uh, especially uh, high season uh, in Amazon and Noon. So what we can see is actually their uh, numbers for Amazon average uh, is around uh, 200 uh, million uh, durance per month and kind of same data you can see here as well uh, per noon. So I would say uh, also from the like interviewing and talking with a lot of entrepreneurs uh, who are selling on both marketplaces, most of them say that for generic products especially, they uh, the, their uh, revenue is split 50-50 between Amazon and Noon. So um, I would suggest you to look uh, in both channels very carefully and uh, especially especially um, then you think that uh, you're going to be in, in, in a quite small niche. So I would suggest you to check the data again uh, because sometimes for the some specific niches Noon doesn't perform very well and uh, some of our big clients is also saying that they are actually uh, not considering, considering Noon as this like big uh, channel. Um, so but I would say it's also a marketplace that has a lot of potential uh, because it's growing in if you're living in your UAE, you can see how aggressive they are especially with the e-grocery initiative so um, shortly check so screen your data there you can see the split between different categories and really understand you know like where or not you should sell on this marketplace again um, the second thing you should understand is the legal uh, barriers uh, which is uh, establishing company in the UAE and opening bank account. Um, these kind of things are still there and especially uh, they are service for KSA. So first, for the uh, Amazon UAE, you can open their bank account and open their, uh, actually you don't even need bank account, you can use uh, Pioneer as a bank, um, you can open your uh, company in any of those uh, 16 countries uh, and for noon uh, there is only option you should open the company in the UAE uh, you can open the company in the uh, free zone or mainland uh, but the key thing is should be e-commerce license company registered uh, within UAE law uh, and the second issue is not the issue but it's uh, quite a challenging thing is actually open the bank account um, so uh, we, we, we're gonna talk about this uh, later uh, more but uh, you need to consider this comes with the cost and the cost uh, usually what we're talking about is uh, around um, let's say from 5,000 like 5,800 dirhams uh, which is approximately 1.5 thousand uh, USD um, to I would say 3,000 uh, that kind of number a 3,000 USD, which is 12,000 uh, dirhams. So uh, this is the range where you can open the company uh, with zero visa or one visa. Um, and um, also with this company after you can open the bank account. 
So uh, I would say it's still an, an expense because if you compare, for example, opening the uh, company in the like in the, in the US or UK, it's gonna cost you way more less. It's gonna cost you around two hundred uh, to two to four like hundred uh, USD. Uh, but still, I think uh, the most important is understanding where you not need this company. And I think uh, if you want to play the big game in the UAE and become a substantial uh, player and also protect your trademark under the local law, uh, I, I think the mm, great thing is actually register here um, as a company. Um, then um, the question you may ask, like, okay, you're saying like 6,000, where I can register a company for that kind of money? Um, the easy is actually Sharjah Media City, and also uh, I think uh, one of the option is um, Maidan Free Zone. Um, for Sharjah Media City, the price is less, but uh, it's like it it's a bit harder to open their uh, bank account with uh, that uh, Free Zone, and Elsa it's Elsa could be very hard if, if, if you, for example, with some kind of country which are uh, considers as a uh, high-risk country. So it's eight countries. You can ask your bank about the list of the countries. But uh, eventually, uh, it's also a matter of where you want to stay in the UAE or not. Because if you want to stay in the UAE, uh, I guess Dubai is the better option than Charger, to be honest. Uh, and uh, Maidan Free Zone, it's actually located uh, only 15 minutes from the business bay uh, and it costs you to get um, from the business bay uh, to Maidan Free Zone only around 20 dirhams, which is uh, quite cheap. Uh, so uh, I, I would recommend you that uh, Free Zone and Elsa, they are our partners. So if you register um, with our link, uh, you can get special discount of 1000 dirhams uh, for the uh, cell screen uh, services and subscription. But there are also options to start with Amazon, uh, UAE, uh, where you don't need, if you're a resident uh, of UAE of any kind of country, uh, which you see uh, at the screen, uh, you actually can open uh, your account uh, without, without paying uh, much so uh, this is the Elsa open uh, this, this is the Elsa option that you may consider uh, but again it all depends on uh, how how serious you're about this business and what your budget is because if you don't have budget I just suggest you to start because it also takes time to get understanding what the marketplace how business works and once you get uh, make money uh, to expand, you're actually gonna uh, register your company. It and gonna be, um, it's not gonna be that uh, that, that that heavy uh, for you. Okay, let's talk about KSA. So KSA, uh, where is the also two major marketplaces? And I would say in KSA, new numbers is actually even higher than in UAE. It's uh, really good sales. And Noon, usually this is the marketplace which considered by the local community as marketplace for them. So I would say their uh, KSA is actually the key uh, for your business, uh, especially then we talk about the low season, like summer season. So when you register your company, uh, as I said, it doesn't matter if it's like uh, mainland or the free zone. Uh, the only one thing you need to ask usually from your free zone is uh, where or not they have import code. Because the import code, uh, this is the thing which is going to help you in the future to import the products on your name and actually save a lot of money um uh, when you do it uh, without any kind of agent um and this is this is the key criteria and the, and the next thing of course it should be e-commerce license it should be portal it shouldn't be portal license it should be e-commerce license uh and if you're talking about the mainland uh it should be uh, you, you need to also put there uh category of products uh you want to sell uh under so to open uh, Amazon uh, EKSA, 
uh, you don't need to register company in the KSA. And this is the great news because the company in the KSA costs a lot. It costs around 30,000 per uh, license, like uh, non-resident and uh, foreign national. Uh, and if you are, of course, uh, uh, national of KSA, uh, it's quite easy to open the company and it costs around 3,000 uh, USD uh, per license. Then, what we need to do, so um, when you open uh, the, your account to the KSA, you can start sell uh, using their that company which you open with the account, but here is another issue which is actually importing the products. So you need to find the agents who are going to help you to import the product under their name into the country because uh, to make a, a import and export uh, like procedures, you should be uh, registered with the KSA um, law. So uh, it's quite challenging uh, to start there, but believe me, uh, the numbers you can gonna see uh, in terms of revenue there, it's quite good. So uh, if you're serious about the Middle East as the region and e-commerce as a channel, I really recommend you to do so. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I hope this video was interesting and helpful for you. Uh, if you like it, please put thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so uh, we can uh, actually go forward. Uh, thank you a lot and have a great sales.